yo, yo, yo. Can you hear me? Nothing. Yeah. I got a little bit of COVID, but I'm so over it. That's good. What's up? Oh, really? <laughs> is she blacked out? Uh, she's close. Her, she has a friend with her. How good. Oh. Having an awesome time. <laughs> Gorgeous. I love it. Beautiful. Great tuba. Anyone want to be my Valentine? How many guys did you already turn down? They don't know I'm going to turn them down. I want to wait until the 13 midnight. You're like, you still have a chance till 11.59 yeah, yeah. p.m. Uh-huh. Go. Wow, she's giving me Iman right now, actually. She nailed it. That's a wrap. Woo! What cup would you like? It's the yellow one. No, I don't want anything without a top in our room. You want this one? OK. Here, babe. Hey, girl. Oh, my God, I was just burping. <laughs> <laughs> so glad I caught you mid-burp. What are you doing? I just got home from the craft studio. I gotta tell you about this lunch that I went on with Jessel. It was so awkward. I'm gonna sit down for this. I think it's gonna be a long one. I got some flowers for you. Oh, you're so sweet. Oh, yeah, Brandon's nice here. Oh. Hi. Hi I was hoping to see you. Oh, me too. It's so good to see you. So good to see you. What are you yeah. whipping up? Thank you. Oh, just a little snack for you guys. Oh, my God. You're so good. What are you doing this weekend? I'm working, and then I go to Scotland on yeah, Sunday. Yeah, yeah. I was invited by a brand, and they are flying me out and doing, like, a spa weekend in an insane countryside. I can't wait. Are you excited to go to Scotland? I'm so excited. It just looks, like, gorgeous. Do you understand their accent? No, not, <laughs> not a, a word. I have this really good friend, like, who lives there, who actually lives, like, right down the street. And yeah. I, you know, every time he's, I'm like... What? <laughs> it's like Uba, you need subtitles. I can't believe I'm going to miss couples night. I know you guys are going. It would be really great to do something like all the husbands and just, like, a couples event. So bring a date or, what, or even just a friend. And we're going to go to Swingers, like a restaurant that has mini golf. Speaking of couples night. <gasps> we did the deed. <gasps> Wait, seriously? <laughs> yeah, I know. Just so? <laughs> oh my god. I can't justify why it took so long. I just think that there was something emotional in both of us that just, like, couldn't. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, they had sex. Yeah. She's like, yeah, it took me 25 minutes to warm up down there. What? I'm like, are you oven, does everybody need to preheat you? Like he went down on her or something? Is the kids there? I don't want to see the kids. Yeah, let's wait for the kids to get out of here. No, there's no slime in the house. Yeah. Go downstairs and please give daddy the slime. This what happens when you have three kids. I know, this helps. The psychology behind all of this, it's just, it's not black and white. Everyone's so afraid to be honest. Yeah. Because. People are judgmental, like, what's wrong with you? Something, you know, and it's like... Well, that's what Sai, I mean, I had lunch with Sai, and the reason why I wanted to have lunch with her was to... I felt like there was tension in Anguilla between the two of us, I mean, I'm sure you saw. Right. And I just wanted to address it. I was running late, and I felt so bad. And I How late were you? 15 minutes. Oh. Lunch is at 11. She was here at 11.35 or 11.40. 40 right. minutes late? That's really rude doesn't even call me. So then she brings up my freaking mother. Oh, God, I'm nervous. She's like, you know, you brought up the situation with your mom. I, I, you know, I related because my uncle is an alcoholic. That is so insensitive to compare that to your mother. I just think she's trying to find something that's relatable. Yes. Come off because she skirts around, like, tries to compare these, like, little, like, excerpts of things that don't really connect with any of us because they're not really the same. It is close. It's crazy town. My uncle that I was living with, you know, he was an alcoholic, and I thought if anyone would understand, it would be her just because she had the same or lived the same reality that I did. I mean, I think that she understood where I was coming from, but she also said she doesn't care. It sounds like it's more meaningful to you to be understood and, like, think that's what you were looking for and it doesn't sound like you got it. Yeah. Oftentimes, people want from people who won't give. That happens a lot. You know, the person that won't give you what you want is sometimes the person you go after the most. 
I can see it in you. When you feel out of sorts, you start to backpedal, and it's like you don't have to defend. Like, it's really okay. Yeah, I, I, I really, truly appreciate that. I have to constantly prove myself, I think. Like, from but you don't. I don't. I know that her intentions were good. I know she was just trying to connect and relate. But your mom is your mom. And it's really different than anyone else on the planet. As far as I'm concerned, I said everything I needed to say, and I'm not going to be a dead horse. You don't have to be best friends with everybody. I will obviously put my best foot forward always. But if that doesn't resonate, then I'm not going to sit there and cry over it.